Hi friends, welcome back to Edipedia World. Last lecture we discussed the first characteristic of sound which was loudness. Today we will discuss the remaining two which are pitch and uh, quality of sound or timbre of sound. And uh, then we will see differences between music and noise. Let's start with today's lecture. Let us start discussing about the second characteristic of sound that is pitch. It is alternatively known as the shrillness. So pitch is uh, that characteristic of the sound which helps distinguish a shrill note from a flat note. So this distinguish a shrill note from a flat note. Now what does pitch depend upon? Pitch is a pitch is kind of decided by the frequency of the sound. So frequency is the function on which pitch depends. Therefore, if we were to show you two different pitch, I would have to show you same amplitude noise, one would be something like this. And now, the, since the amplitude has to be same, the only thing that would differ is the frequency. So these two sound having the same amplitude but different frequency will have different pitch. Therefore, parallel to the concept of intensity and loudness, where intensity was the objective quantity and loudness was, was the subjective quantity. Here, pitch is the subjective quantity. Subjective quantity. It uh, depends on the person who hears it. Frequency is the objective quantity. Why so? Because object uh, frequency can be set as a number, 100 hertz, 200 hertz. So it's an objective quantity. And as we have seen, this, the red one is high pitch. So if the frequency is higher, the pitch will be higher. And the green one is low pitch. So basically pitch of a note depends on the frequency and higher the frequency, higher is the pitch. An example of high pitch and low pitch in music would be a tabla playing is mostly a flat note. So it's a higher pitch, uh, rather a lower pitch. And uh, a flute playing is a shrill sound. So it's a high pitch, high frequency sound. Okay. So this is the second characteristic of sound. Third characteristic of sound which we will see is called as the quality of sound. The quality of sound or also known as the timbre of sound. Now, what is the quality of sound? A quality of sound is that characteristic of sound which distinguishes two different sounds of same loudness and same pitch. So, given the loudness and pitch is same, it can be in the case of different musical in instrument that their loudness and pitch both are same. Same loudness, same pitch, but 
different sound. So the property that will define that is known as the quality. So what is basically quality? Quality of a musical instrument or a musical sound depends on what is known as the waveform of the sound. So this is a property of the waveform. Like loudness was a property of intensity, pitch was a property of frequency, quality of a sound is a property of the waveform of the sound. Normally what happens is that uh, different instruments do not produce note of single frequency. Rather they contain a combination of different frequencies. There will be one major frequency which will be the least frequency and will have maximum amplitude but and that uh, frequency will be called as the principal vibration let me write it down principal or fundamental fundamental frequency but in addition to that there will be what is known as subsidiary or secondary or secondary vibrations which will be of smaller amplitude and uh, higher frequency and these two will together define a waveform these two will together form a waveform which is characteristic of a particular musical instrument. So that waveform which is fingerprint consisting of a principal frequency and subsidiary secondary frequencies is the waveform and that represents the quality or timbre of the sound or of the musical instrument and uh, there might be instruments which have same principal frequency but their characteristic secondary frequencies are completely different and that gives us a sensation of a different sound altogether. To give an example of what I mean by the musical note which results in the, second, uh, the secondary frequencies which make the sound sound like music, I will show you a flat note let's say you the waveform of a vibrating tuning fork would be something like this so this is known as the principal frequency or the fundamental frequency within this frequency there are no further subdivisions or no further frequencies but a musical instrument on the other hand would be something like this So you see that there is a pattern to it. If you draw there is a fundamental frequency like this and in that fundamental frequency you can find these as the secondary frequencies. So this results in secondary frequencies and that is the characteristic of a musical instrument right so this gives you an idea about uh, the timber or waveform I will summarize the three concepts which we discussed in today's class and in our previous class as the subjective and the objective quantity S subjective and objective. So first was the subjective quantity was loudness. How loud the sound is. It de depended a little on the perception of the person hearing. Then there was intensity. Intensity 
was how much energy is passing through a unit area per unit time perpendicular to the surface right second was the subjective quantity was pitch this represented how shrill a sound is or how flat a sound is and its objective quantity was frequency frequency is basically number of vibrations per unit time finally the subjective quantity was quality quality you can differentiate a piano from a flute or something even if they are played in the let's say the same loudness and same pitch that is because the quality is different and the objective quantity would be the waveform what exactly are the secondary frequencies and what is exactly the principal frequency of a particular sound let's discuss how uh, music is different than a noise now the first characteristic property of a uh, music is that it is pleasing and very soothing to our ears whereas a noise is quite harsh to our ears so secondly music has periodic vibrations and they are normally of low loudness not very loud something like 40 hertz or 50 hertz whereas a noise is irregular vibrations there are certain rises in vibration certain fall in vibration and they are very loud normally above 120 hertz which can be quite unpleasant to our ears then music has smooth change in frequency or amplitude there is no sudden jerk in frequency or sudden rise in amplitude if the amplitude were to rise it would uh, smoothly rise whereas in noise there are certain changes you cannot predict from beforehand uh, if there is going to be a change in frequency or amplitude and that is one of the reasons that noise becomes very unpleasant to the ear and given that uh, this, there is a smooth change in frequency and amplitude the waveform is regular for uh, music and it's quite irregular waveform in case of a noise an example of waveform for music is like a plain pattern like this without much of a variation also while discussing of uh, the quality of sound I showed you a waveform that was a waveform for music whereas in the case of noise there are certain fluctuations in the amplitude there is no predefined amplitude there is changes in the frequency so that irregular waveform is characteristic of noise okay so this particular segment we have discussed about the different characteristic of sound and uh, in this particular slide we roughly touched upon how music which is pleasing is different from noise which is harsh to our ears now that i see it in the slide again there is a slight mistake here uh, which i made this should be 40 decibel rather than 40 hertz for the low uh, loudness and this is 120 decibel or greater than that for very loud noise so this section brings an end to the topic of sound we have seen the different characteristic which is used to distinguish one sound from another sound the next class will start discussing about uh, current electricity so it's a new topic and uh, i hope you are there to understand uh, the fundamentals about current electricity. See you in the next class. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.